Well, in two of the three episodes so far in this series, the ones we've played games in, we have had two 7-1 games. Can it be three in a row? Hey guys and welcome back to episode number 4 of season number 8 of the Grimsby Town to Glory career mode and as you can now see on screen we sit in 3rd in the league, a very very good start to this season, if you haven't seen the rest of it please do watch the last 3 episodes, they were very very entertaining and worth your while in my opinion anyway, as yes 3rd position is great, we've only lost 1 game and it's to a team above us so no shame in that, as we play West Ham first today, really wanted to get this done in the last episode, but we had more important games to go, as then we've got Burnley, which Carabao Cup, not important to me really in this save, as then Arsenal's going to be a hard game, chasing our tails, and then Sporting, the hardest game in the Europa League group stages, and we might fit in another one, and the month after, Reading, if they're struggling, which I kind of hope they are a little bit, because of course they've just got promoted the first time in the Prem in about nine years. It's funny how we got to the Prem before them in this save, as before this game as well. We have dropped down to fifth, but we have played five games, so that's not very worrying. I thought we'd done something wrong there. Uh, so we're going to go straight into this one with a team that we have probably on screen right now. We've got injuries to Malone and Pope, who's actually gone down a rating now. Don't like to see that. But I'm going to focus on this first team with Dino in the goal, Frances at right back, Rodon and Fry make up the two new centre backs who have done very well. Kelly at left back, Cantwell, Vendicor, he did well in his game with Chalibur and Brooks on the right with Dowell, of course, a little bit tired but has to play with the main man Harper up front. And West Ham, let's have a look at the starting lineup we face today. Bellu, Lochade in goal, Dodo, Cardoso, Martinez, Quarter, Will Orban and Palacios in the defence with Musonda, Rice, Rabio and Pavon with Briel and Bolo. Is there another one? No, that's actually it, isn't there? Yeah, they've got a lot of players in that defensive pump with Walk Peters, Dolberg and Chamberlain still on the bench, the players that play well against us in the past, so I'm not going to put that past them. I'm glad they're not playing. And here is Vencedor. To start off play right here, we've got Dale Fry on the ball, the new defender, of course, who we have just signed. He's had a decent start to life at Grimsby Town. He's hit the ground running as that ball straight into Vendicor. The same as Harper. We don't really need to speak for him, really, do we? As he's going to try and chip a ball in there. Close to Dal, but the keeper gets there first. And it was a foul on him. Almost in there with the instant start, though. But just not to be as Rodon gives a pass to Dale Fry as well. He's going to try and charge it down the field and keep on going, Dale. Keep on going. He's got a man in front of him blocking his view, though. So he's going to go into Ventacor. Now into Dowell again and a dodgy touch to show Rabio too much of the ball. It looks like we are getting on top in this game, which is different because we always lose to West Ham, really. So I would appreciate it if we got a goal pretty sudden. And I'm forgetting to say it, ah, uh, that there is no Maduke in this squad. A player I tried to sign a couple of seasons back went to the Hammers and hit the ground running. So I'm guessing he might have gone on to a bigger club, if I'm not wrong. They've got Charlie Masonda in replacement for him, but still, he's very good. I think he scored about seven goals already this season. Second top scorer ahead of Harper, even, as Masonda's on the ball right here. The number eight into Brill Mbolo. Pavon now gets a run around him. It's a dodgy touch from Frances. Doesn't win the ball. And Dino with the save. Bit of a dodgy one. Definitely a bit of a dodgy one right there. So we've got to try and defend a corner now against the Hammers as that is deep. And Dino can only punch that one away as well. Can't catch it, but can catch that one straight into his grasp. So I need to try and get at them straight away again. It's Nathaniel Chalaber this time. Charging towards this side of the field into Brooks who goes back to Dale Fry, and now, let's go forward, pass into Vencedor, he's got Harper in the gap right there, can he find him, he does, Harper with a few good touches, he's got the pace, and just not the cutback though, as it's a good tackle, Will Orban, but a corner for us, our first one of the game, as that's going towards Harper, punched from Bele Lutuado, the keeper again, into Dale Fry, into Dowell, and he can't hammer that goal wide. Quite an open game this one, I think, as Declan Rice now gives the ball into Briel Mbolo, stepped away in Dale Fry, with a tackle as Cantwell with a good pass on as well to Todd Cantwell, not Todd Cantwell, Trevor Chalibur in the middle. All the seas as he's got the ball again right now. Needs a run on the out wide bit of him so he gets it to Kelly. Could be trying to do something here. Concentration at its finest as Dowell swings. But the defender was in front of him. Half time. It is nil-nil here at the London Stadium. A bit of a tight game and 
We need to try and get the higher of these tight margins. We need to try and do it quick as well. So here we go. Let's try and get back into it, shall we, in this half as Roden with a pass right there to Frances. Frances to go back in the middle to Chalaba. And let's get this quick. It's Dowell around the corner into Harper. Harper back to Dowell. Can we get a run on the outside? We definitely can't. Declan Rice now in the midfield. He's got a ball around the corner to Adrian Rabiot. He usually didn't play last season. But looks like he's worked his way back into the squad as Breland Bolo. Good player as he passes it into Pavon. Who strikes the post as well. Being let off the chain a little bit there from the Hammers as they actually start their second half off with the biggest chance of the game. Come on, if we're going to get back into this top four, which in fact West Ham are in real life, we need to try and threaten really quickly and get this goal that I think we deserved out of the first half as Brooks running down the line. He's got this man on his shoulder though, Palacios, so he's going to have to go back in the middle to Chalaba looking for that disguised pass, but Declan Rice, man. He is too good. Very, very good running as hopefully he can't catch up with this one though. Brooks has a bit of space behind the five at the back with the ball into Harper and oh! Come on, William Harper. You've got to score that but a big mistake from the keeper and Vencedor pounces. Oh my days. This keeper has been good this game but he's literally gifted as a goal. Harper should have scored first time round but oh my days. That is just shocking from the keeper. They've been in the game and he gets a pass back to his feet. It's a dodgy touch. And Vencedor gets his first goal for Grimsby Town after nicking it straight off him. And passing it into the open goal. Unai Vencedor. I love you for that grit and determination, mate. You've had a really good start in a town shirt. As is Dale Fry, but he's dived in there. We usually never get the win against the Hammers. And it could be the case, but Rice has put it past the post. He scored in the reverse fixture against us. And oh... I think it hit on Bolo as well, so if it did go in, there would be shots for offside right there. But let off the hook. Very, very much so, as we need to try and maybe kill this off. If we can, it's a ball down the line to Harper. Not, of course, going to keep it in the corner. We don't do that here as William Harper does cut inside. He's got a bit of a run here. He's got the pace as well to try and charge it around. But Rice with the tackle, trying to make up for the miss as he's passed it into Mbolo as well. West Ham flooding forward, uh, bodies forward. But Fry with a tackle. Five minutes to go. And Oxley chamberlain is on the player who scores a lot against us. So hopefully... It doesn't happen here. Musonda with it. Back into Declan. We need to try and get a tackle in pronto. And so here he is, the Ox. Just trying to send us all over the place. And please, Brooks, yes. He's received that one. Just need to get it to the other side of the field right now to try and keep it a little more quiet as Chalaba running into a bit of danger. Gives it back into Nemecha on for Dowell, who has probably had his quietest game of the season, but still brilliant as always. As Harper now has it, Nemecha make a good run in front. It could be too, you know. It's Felix Nemecha running down the clock with the ball into the box. Fencedor almost underneath it, but that is the full-time whistle. And we have held on for a big win against the Ironworks. Come on, West Ham nil, Grimsby won. And that is five wins out of six. Big win. Big, big win. As now it's on to Burnley straight after. They're probably going to go for the rotated team. Like I said, don't care much for this competition. Don't know where we are in the league as well because we're going straight into this one. And Arsenal is after it. So that is an equally as vital game. Hopefully can get the points there though instead of a win here because I honestly... Don't care. With Evans in the goal. Powell at right back. Galloway, Lewis Jackson in the defence with Barry Leach, McMillan, Doyle and Smith on the right-hand side of midfield with McNamee supporting Balogun up front. So this is a chance for Balogun, the ex-Arsenal striker as I always call him, to try and get a little bit more form going against a Premier League team. See if he can prove being off the bench a little bit more than he actually is at the moment. As that's a strong Burnley team as well. Lindelof in the defence. Can we get the win in the Carabao Cup? As no, we crash out in the, I think that's the fourth round as Balogun scores in the first minute. Diallo with the reply though and Vokins, our ex-player and Ellis scored against us all the time in the championship. So it is not going to be back-to-back -back Carabao Cup wins as I honestly don't care. What I care about most is this league table. We are one point off the top. If we can be like in this position 10 games in, I'm only going to repeat it four more times and we should be fine as Arsenal are in seventh as well. They've dropped off two draws and a defeat. We've only had one defeat, but look at the goal difference. It's minus one. I don't understand how it is minus one. They've got seven above us, Spurs. Man City 12 below us who, of course, beat us, but they drew the game that they've just played. So hopefully Arsenal, it's going to be a tester. 
But can we get the win? And other teams have played games extra, so we can't go top if we win this. Spurs, unfortunately, getting the result. But then again, it will have to spur, get the joke, us on a little bit more ourselves, as Dino is going to be straight back in goal. It's going to be Frances, Rodon, Dale Fry, and Kelly at the back with Cantwell, Vencedor after a perfect performance, and Chalaber, which, mind you, is playing out of position, so he's 72 rated in this team. And he is second in the league in this squad. I don't understand how he is this good in game with Brooks at the right-hand side midfield. Dowell now 85 rated and so deserved. He's still underrated in my opinion as Harper is up front. I think he's a week off being 88 rated. I just did a little bit of development off camera there as we play ninth place Arsenal. They've dropped down as well. Let's make sure they keep on dropping down. And Arsenal, how is their starting 11? It's Burnt Leno in goal, Maitland-Niles, Comar, Torres... And Digne, decent defence with Bedegate and Suchek. How are these this low down? A set a 2 2 Willock and Martinelli with Rian Brewster up front. Okay, so they took a gamble on the relegated striker. Saka benched. Badgerly, who they just signed, benched. I think it's a bit of a weird one, actually. I feel like maybe the inexperience doing Arsenal in a little bit because the team certainly looks the part. And here we go. Bruce is on the deck straight away. He's going to be one that's diving a bit, I think, as I don't know where Eddie and Ketty has gone as well. And that's a dive from Willock as well. Oh, my days. I can see what they're trying to do as Dale Fry does brilliantly to get out of danger as well. I think he's had a really, really, really good start to his time at Park. Or Blundell Park, should I say, as Frances running forward with the ball. He's got a lot of freedom to do so. We've got Harper making the running behind. He's just offside and never going to reach that one. And Gabriel Martinelli this time with the ball. He's going to try and run at us right here. He's going to round us a little bit. Need to try and get this tackle in. He's gone round us again, so it's into Suchek. Great tackle from Chalaba, who can't get the rebounded one as well. There's someone who stayed on the deck as well as that. It's now Willock with the ball. It's all going on. Willock, who's got a hat-trick against us last season at the start, but a great tackle in there for one of our players. Arsenal actually starting off the better, which on the whole, you kind of expect, but how the season's gone so far, you'd expect us to do quite well, as Chalaba doesn't read that one as well. It's gone into Rian Brewster and Martinelli's Got the touch from him. It's going back to Brewster. Now on to Suchek. Missed the tackle into Berdegay. Just keep forcing him back. And Suchek with the ball into Berdegay. It literally looks like they just want to play possession football. We're going to counter like hell if we get this ball. If we can get it as Brewster. There we go. Fry leaves some afters on him. But he's got a ball through to Sese Tutu. And wasted all of that. It's weird football from Arsenal. Very, very conservative. Like, they don't want to go forward at all. As now it's Brooks... With a job, Brooks needs to wait for someone to run on to him. There we go. We've got Frances around the corner. Frances trying to run there. Get that in the middle to Dowell. Dowell turns out onto Harper. I don't think he's really good at shots from range. So Ventacor back into Dowell and he can't get the pass around. They are going so, so defensive. And that is half time. I can't stress enough how much Arsenal are trying to sit back on us. Little Grimsby Towners have had more possession, yeah, but they've been playing it around the back. Playing it in the midfield. Tippy Tapper, which isn't really threatening our goals. So if it stays like this, I don't see them scoring. But I don't see us getting a goal because we just can't rob the ball. However, they are going to start with the free kick. It's Brooks with a stupid tackle right there. Gets himself in the book. So it's going to be Saka, who's actually come off the bench. Maybe to try and get them more attacking into Martinelli. Now to say 2-2 over to Saka. Maybe he's at left back though because... Martinelli's still on the field. We need to try and get a tackle in here. Or if he's going the long way around, as he does. Martinelli, no foul, no foul. There's Chalabas pushing him out wide a little bit. Slid in there to stop the ball. Into Suchek. Into Saka. Now into Beregay. Good ball through to Martinelli. And need to try and block that as Dino. Quick off his line. Definitely got better this season. As can we counter on it as well? It's Vencedor with a great disguise pass around the corner. Goes straight to Harper. Leaves Dowell out as what a save. But Dowell on the rebound can't slide it. And he was so close right there to extend it. Well, not even extending the lead. Getting the lead in the first place. The captain who's had a off game in the first one and hasn't scored yet. However, there's Cantwell with the ball right here. As he's hit it, the defender passes it back to Vencedor to try and whip a ball into him right here and he's going to win that header as he has scored finally broken the deadlock against Arsenal and it's a great little dink at the back post glorious 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 stuff as look at this he goes the long way around as Vencedor and I can't stress enough as well how good the two new signings have been Dale Fry 
and Vencedor have just been a breath of fresh air in this team. Superb after we've got a couple of signings wrong, like I didn't kick on this season. We've, we've been wrong with many signings, you know we have, and it's just good to see them doing well. As we now, of course, have a lead against Arsenal. This, I think, is leading to a very successful season if it stays this way. We'll still be behind top of the league by one point as now Kelly has the ball. Can he whip in another ball? He can and Dal waiting. Just poked away from Powell being fan dabby dozy. Now it's Todd Cantwell as well. He needs a run at the side in. Come on. Pick up the pace, Kelly. Pick it up as we've got a ball round again. This guy's just free to deliver every time. Harper's at the front post. Shouldn't be missing. Although it's a dodgy touch and Leno does get the punch away. If we don't make it too, like Grimsby in real life at the moment, I feel like they will come back and bite us. So please make it too as Harper does. It's a beautiful header after he missed that touch and completely skewed the first chance. He does not need to be told three times as it's second time lucky. A beautiful dipping header over the keeper as well, I must say. As Let's have a look at that one again. 2-0 against Arsenal. Two men on him and a beautiful second chance put away. Fixing it up, however, Suchek with a ball round and scores off the post. So, of course, after we just score the goal, which I think would have got us the win. They come back to punish straight away. Good finish. And it's Thomas Suchek with it. Look at this. It's a ball in the middle and Chalaber should be reading it. Trying to take him down right there with Rod on. And it's off the post and in. At least he's not getting another red card. And I do think that's going to lead to another squeaky end. As now Vencedor. And the ball out to Todd Cantwell. He needs a run around him of Kelly. As he does get the ball in the end. Needs to try and cut back inside. A little bit of a move right there. Shimmy. To get past him into Vencedor. Now into Dal. Could we make it three? It's on to Chalaber who just made the mistake. And makes up for it straight away. It is 3-1 against Arsenal. He makes the mistake to let Ch uh, Suchek score. And the literally 72 rated guy in game has just scored against Arsenal. He's brilliant. Again, mistake taken out of it. As look at this. It's going to be Doyle to come on as well as that. It's just glorious, as I am seriously enjoying this Premier League season so far. Even Dale Fry's enjoying it. Look how far forward he is. Arsenal have tried to actually be more attacking in this second half, so I've got to praise them for that. As they could get another and do through Brozovic. Beautiful finish. And again, it's going to be a 3-2 game. He just can't help them, can you? But they've been out of the game. They have been more attacking. They've been trying to do as they just did. And they have got a couple of goals. So praise to them. Although I don't think they're going to get the win. Tommy Doyle to go backwards as I do want to waste a little bit of time. Dale Fry's just come off the bench as well. So I think it shouldn't be this tight. But if we're going to get the win in the end, I will be happy. As Tommy Doyle's even charging through. And it could actually be more than 3-2. Could it be 4? It's Harper to try and cut inside. Can't get past Digne though. Or maybe Paul Torres that was. As Brozovic has the ball. But it's going to be full time. We get a huge three points against Arsenal. And that is just setting the season up for even more success. Less possession, but a 3-2 win at Blundell Park. And it's on to the Europa League next again. Sporting Lisbon after a 7-1 win. And these actually getting beat by LASK. I think it's time we go to the um, second team hybrid that we've kind of got. Because I am so focused on the Premier League at the moment. One point behind Spurs. One point off top. And yeah, I'm going to keep the squad fit for Reading. I think they're bottom of the league as well. It's either them or Villa, who I knew were struggling before the game we just played. I don't know how the results on that last one's gone. Has got a loan offer from Maloney as well. A loan to buy from Monaco, of course. I'm going to reject that. Do want to use him when he's fully fit. As Balogun wants to come back in. Probably going to be. As here is the team. A lot of changes, but still some players staying in there. As Dino is in goal. Powell at right back with Rodon, Lewis and Kelly. But in fact, I'm actually going to take Rodon out. Don't want him getting sent off. So where is it? There he is. Shane Galloway to go in centre back with Campwell at left wing. McMillan and Doyle in the midfield with Maloney back on the right. Fully fit with Dal in Cam. He plays every single game with Balogun just in front of him as well, who plays every Europa League game. And here is the lineup of which I thought was going to be the most difficult team to play, but they lost the first game as Ribeiro, Rosier, Barra Suarez, Iñaco, El Joaquim. Mendes, Nunes, Dumbia, Tabata, Spora, and Cabral. Haven't really heard of them, so I don't think there's another Bruno Fernandes in there. Which, of course, will do us a favour against our youth as Maloney. Dodgy first touch, but, of course, just back from injury and completely unfit. Same with Galloway in centre-back. So maybe I have made a little bit of a mistake by going this week. 
But if we lose, we'll have to make up for it. It'll be fun. However, that might not be an option as Doyle chips the ball straight over for Balagun as well. Florian Balagun cuts inside. He goes for a finesse but gets it wrong. I do know one player in the squad though. I don't think he's the best of ratings, but Cabral is decent on the wing as oh Doombia collects that one as well I thought it was a foul that I committed but obviously not as it goes through to Spora teams are up for this here as Matthäus puts them in the lead sporting lead at Blundell Park early on right here as it's a great finish first time into the bottom corner and the defense want a spot on there it's difficult for us now because we've got to come back and I've got to say teams in this Europa League are really going for it I mean Mold did against us as well as that is a Really good finish. Let's try and step it up, shall we, and try and create something. I've got Harper on the bench if we are in danger, I think. Although I don't really want to use him. I feel like Balagun's good enough on his own to pull us out, as that's a dodgy pass as well. As Maloney is going to pounce it. We've got Kieran Dahl running in front, but a great tackle from Suarez. And Todd Cantwell left in the squad as well. We've got some big names still in, you know. Dino in the goal. I think we shouldn't be losing this one already as Maloney cuts back. Gives it into Tommy Doyle around the corner to Dowell. Back heels it to Balagun and Maloney with a chance, but hits it at his man. And Mendes here with the ball gives it out wide to Joan. That's a dodgy tackle, you know. I think it's Powell. Or is it Galloway? It might be Galloway who picks up another yellow card. Gets quite a few him as Lewis is on a yellow card as well. And Doombia with a great header, but what a stop from Dino. I'm glad I didn't go rotated goalkeeper wise because of course Evans is decent want to grow him but do want a decent keeper as that is a superb save Sporting Lisbon honestly being the better team all round here as Balagun has the ball though he's got a run of Dowell touch that yes he's got there ahead of the defender and he's not missing that one it's the equaliser right here and we're gonna get the ball because I don't think we deserve to be behind. We are dominating the game and I do want to win it. So I'm not going to waste any time right here. It's a great pass there. It's a great run. The number 52 can't get close enough. And we go again. Fantastic workers. Can we even be in the lead before half time? Who knows? It's Dowell who leaves himself with the ball for a long time. He gets around the defender. Does Florian Balogun. And he's hit it straight at the keeper. That's disappointing from the Englishman up front. Very, very disappointing. As that could have been us in front just before half time but misses a one-on-one -on -one. you can see quality is coming out a bit more to shine right now as that's a good tackle though and dowell does have the ball don't think we're going to keep that in any reality right there because there was flooding onto us as it's 1-1 one -one at half time i said these might be the hardest team to play and i think the loss to lask in the last game and the way we won 7-1 has really shooken things up brought both worlds together and I've fallen off a little bit. Maybe I'm getting a bit too complacent, playing a bit more youth than I should do. And I feel like they want revenge after their first loss. So as I say, we need to try and wake up a little bit. Matthäus running into his own man as that's round to Cabral. It could be two and it's not Megdino to b two to spot in. We finished the second half off the better. But like I just said in my point I made, they want this game more it just seems. As that is a great ball around the back of Powell who should do better. And the keeper, I see he was guarding his front post, so I don't really blame him for that. And it wasn't a nutmeg, it was past the leg. Just committed, didn't he? Committed. Sporting take the lead. So now we've got to try and fight back. It's Doyle into Dowell, onto Balagun. As can we try and get back in front? It's Balagun, Flore in, cuts inside. Good shot from range. Good save. And it's Sporting straight having a chance after us as well as Lewis dives in. And it's not good. He's wrong side. The youth player who's done well is going to get himself sent off as well. So it's going from bad to worse. In this Europa League, we cannot keep penalties away. Mold had one and now Sporting with one as we dive the right way though. And we keep it at 2-1. That could have been us done and dusted. But Dino, love it. And I know it's going to be harder with, of course, 10 men from now on. And a couple of defenders already on yellows. The other centre-back. But we've got to try and fight on. I don't think it was a yellow worthy tackle as well. But if you're giving a penalty and he's already on a yellow, I think his hand's forced into it. As Dabur is off the bench as well. The Israeli striker is really good in career mode. I know that for sure. And he's a travel man. You can see it sporting right now. Severe in real life as Balagun has a ball right there onto Dowell. Can we try and score this counter attack here? It's Florian Balagun from range. And oh, just drilled past the post. And oh... No way, I forgot about that guy. It's Michael Connolly on the field against us. So he might be getting the one up against his old club. Raised in Grimsby, of course, as Balagun could raise the roof and... 
probably over dramatic. We are only level, but has got the late leveler with 10 men. Flore in. Perfect finish. But yeah, speaking of Michael Conley, I'll go to that whilst I watch this replay. I love him. Of course, I forgot I sold him to these. We were raising funds when we moved to the Premier League, and he was really great. Hopefully, maybe could come back one day, but of course, not for now, as we level it up against this club. Was on his way to trying to be the next Ronaldo, of course, as they are going to keep on going sporting Lisbon. The ex-club of him as Jovan Cabral with the ball, already scored a goal, and it's a great tackle. As can we nick this late on? I think we do deserve it, although they've had the chances as Doyle just can't get that chip over. And with 10 men, I think I'd honestly take a draw. However, Connolly with the ball onto Cabral, and he's hit the post, and oh, that could have bounced in off Dino's back, as geez, we hold on late on for a draw right there. With 10 men, I will definitely take it. It's another game unbeaten. Yeah, sure, it's not going to be a clean sweep in the Europa League group stages, but it's his first time in the tournament, and I will definitely take that with 37% possession. So after that game, I think the best thing to come of it, of course, is our unbeaten run staying intact, and of course, the Premier League. Look at that, we are four points off City. We are four points clear of, well, I say four points clear of City and four points clear in second, but then again, Chelsea are in fifth and on the same point. So if we lose two games and all them pick up points, we're straight back down to fifth. But then again, to be in this position is great. Chasing the title as it is reading up next. Let's see where they are. As please don't say teams are playing before us unless it's Spurs and they drop points as Malone. Option to buy from Catrone. Honestly, just no. I want to keep him here. He's on the bench, I think, for this next squad. As I will show you it full strength again. As yes, Spurs have won. So red in a rock bottom. It's away at the Majeski. So I don't think it's going to be as easy as it sounds. As we are going to go with this team. Dino in goal. Frances, Rodon, Fry, Kelly, Cantwell, Vencedor, Chalaber, Brooks, Dowell, of course. A little bit tired this time. And Harper up front on his own. So please just provide the goods. Get the win against bottom place and move on as none of the other teams have played just yet arsenal coming up but of course i've played a game extra as we just need this win to keep up with tottenham we can't bottle it against bottom of the league can we as we don't it's sepa who scores first but brooks vencedor what a signing he has been as the best signing of all harper rounds out the win and we are beaten bottom of the league yes we got beaten 7-1 by Manchester City, but we are now mentioning seven wins out of eight in the Premier League. As yes, the teams below us have picked up points as well, but we sit on 21 behind Tottenham by one point still in this league table. I just cannot believe that we are that close to being on the top spot. As we'll look at the games we've got next, West Brom. Should be kind of straightforward with the team we've got. LASK would probably simulate. Play Watford, who's got a couple of his ex-players. Well, did. In Harper, of course, before he came back. Then Chelsea, which is going to be a very good one. LASK again. Maybe simulate or play that second leg. As then we have Liverpool. Yes, we can't see them there in the top four. But that is going to be a big game. As this has been a big episode as well. As unfortunately, guys, this is the end of it. I hope you have enjoyed. I definitely have played this one. It's getting very, very heated in this Grimsby Town to Glory. And of course, it's only like four episodes into this season. So we've got a long way to go. But can we keep it up? It's down to you guys' support and my kind of, well, I won't call them skills, but playing controls. As see you all in a bit. Like, comment, share and subscribe. As yes, in a bit. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace. Peace.